afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, as y'all come in, hit the like and subscribe button. Um, we did a few hot topics today on our live. So if you missed the live, you might want to go and check the live out. If you can stomach what we were talking about. Um, if it offended anybody, I apologize. But I just felt like that we need to kind of spruce the lives up. I, I don't really like doing dead lives. I like to have spruced up lives, lives, man. So forgive me if I offended anybody. I just wanted to bring some entertainment into the lives today. <clears throat> so the name of this, y'all, is called This is When Darwism Kicks In. This is when Darwism um, kicks in, y'all. Uh, in case you don't know what Darwism is, uh, let me let you know. Darwism, also known as Darwinian theory, is the theory of evolution that Charles Darwin and others develop. It states that all species of organisms develop and arise through natural selection, which is the process by which organisms with favorable traits are more likely to survive. So what I'm going to show y'all here is some people uh, don't know how to survive. It's not the government fault. It's not no man fault. It's your fault. See, I'm finna show y'all this woman. And I want the women to understand the importance of a family and a man and a support system. Uh, let me see. Should I show y'all this first? Um, because, see, women keep thinking that they're going to be able to go through life and live off of one income by themselves. And we are all seeing inflation. We're seeing things rise and they're getting higher and higher and higher. And it's becoming harder and harder to uh, to survive. And when it come, becomes harder to survive, you know that you have to find a man or, you know, you have to find a man to cohabitat with. Now, this woman is the type of women all over. Now, these are the new women. The women back in the days didn't have to worry about this. See, listen. <clears throat> the women back in the days, when these things would have arose, the old black men would have said, woman, sit down. They ain't going to do nothing. This house been here since the 1900s. You talking about that old storm? Oh, it ain't going to blow too hard. I can feel the wind. It ain't going to. See, it was something about the old black men that knew things and, and kind of, you know, they wasn't uh, psyche, but they knew things that they can tell women to calm them down and bring them into a peaceful state of mind. But let's get on to the to what I'm here to show y'all. Hey, y'all need to evacuate. Y'all need to evacuate. Do y'all got evacuation money? Because I can't afford my rent here. You think I can afford to go somewhere else? Mike, it's not... Okay, do y'all got evacuation money? Because I can barely afford my rent here, right? So I can't go, afford to go anywhere else. And this is majority of the women right now who's trying to do these things by themselves. And I don't need no man. But look, look how expensive her hair look. Look at her makeup. Her makeup even look expensive, don't it? But she's a poor steward of money. She can't analyze and think. She can't. She can only live for today. 
this is where Darwinism plays a part. When you can't prepare for the future, Darwinism kicks in and gets your butt. When you're not smart enough to know that two people are better than one, then Darwinism steps in and gets your butt. Am I making sense? I need to people? evacuate. Gas already uh, high. Mm -hmm. And you talking about, I need to get on the road. Right. Go somewhere. And I got to pay to go where I'm going. Okay. Right. Like, what are y'all talking about? Evacuate. You're not taking this serious. Baby, my. Well, when these people tell you this, they have a family. They have wife, kids, credit, families working together, peace, build money. Um, taking their time, doing the things the right way, right? So they, when they go to telling you this, they thinking that you're doing the same thing, but you're not. You're sitting over here playing eyeball. You're sitting over here playing hot girl summer. You're sitting over hurting your own community with your own actions. When things like this happen and they say, hey, y'all should evacuate. It should be a man, woman, and their kids getting in a, the family van, traveling to safety. These women thinking, okay, well, if I had the money, then I'll travel to safety. I just jump on the highway and, um, by myself and go to safety or whatever. And, and even that's flaw. Should no woman feel comfortable just moving about in this world willy nilly? Because I'm as a man, I don't even feel comfortable. I promise to God, I do not feel comfortable just willy nilly going through places and all this because it, it's dangerous out there. Anything can happen. And this is where Darwinism kicks in. See, as a woman, you should know, hey, this is a man's world. There are some dangerous guys out there, some dangerous criminals, some people that would do anything. So, let me, hey, man, I ain't going by myself. I need a man with me. Right? She'll save her life like that. Darwinism kicks in when she got a little money and thinks she can just move about freely throughout these dangerous um, lands that we have. And then something happens to you. Somebody take your car, your purse. Somebody, you know, violate your private area. You know what I'm saying? This is why the black community is so behind right now. We live in 2024. Why is certain people rent? The money you spend on rent, why you don't own some property? Why are you so far behind? Why your money come to your hand and just go straight to the rent man? You can't never get ahead in life. And that's Darwinism. That's when Darwinism kicks in. Darwinism says some of us are not intelligent enough to do things like that. Some of us are not intelligent enough to, to make decisions like that. It's a shame. And this is the position that we at. This was just a test. 
this was seeing how people could react and move and um, how they maneuver and how much would they depend on the government. This was just a test. A lot of people failed the test. The test was they had nothing saved up to save them life, their lives. I mean, they, they put a, a storm on TV, right? This was a scary storm they put on TV. Like when you see it on TV, you should have said, hey, man, I'm running, right? The people seen it on TV and didn't have two cents to rub together to get their butts out of town. If it would have been an attack from a hostile nation, they have been finished. Oh, the government, y'all give us some money so we can move to the, get to safety. Darwinism. Always have you a little money somewhere put up just in case stuff hit the fan. You can maneuver and get to safety. Or you can, you know, handle some business if you're behind on your bills or whatever. I always keep a little something in the nest egg. Until the next time, peace.